file. This next application, or website I should say, is called Typing Agent. And um, this is what our district uses for our students to supplement their um, typing or their basically their keyboarding skills. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like from the student perspective. Um, the first step, you start off by taking a test. Bear with me. Put your helmet on. Safety first. It's, very, it's time very, for a race. Very. Let's very. learn to type the letters X and Z. And so what it's going to do first is give the student an assessment to see where they're at. And then from there, it's going to differentiate lessons. You can see right on the bottom right here, it's getting students used to having their fingers on home row and their fingers on the space bar, um, as well as showing them the movements that they need to practice that skill. So it looks like... And you can see too how on the home row it's showing the movements for the students just for that repetition purpose. Oops. And then after it, it'll let you know how um, words per minute they can type, how fast they're moving, um, their accuracy. Um, and then from there you can um, select certain lessons, whether it be home row, um, A to W movement, A to Q, whatever the move may be, there is skills embedded within this. And like most applications and sites that are educational that we use, it keeps a log for the students. And when they complete their mission, um, they unlock badges and they unlock games that also incorporate the typing practice, but just make it more friendly for them and it just provides them with that positive incentive. Um, again, we're not fortunate, fortunate enough to have typing classes like we did in elementary school. So this is the website that we use for our students. And again, they have logins that they can use at home. Um, we use this in class every week on our Fridays. And uh, yeah, again, typing agent, and we use this for typing practice.